Hey coders, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great morning so far and today we're going to start on our soundboard app. So what I'm going to do first is create a brand new Xcode project. We're also going to want to download the sounds but we're going to get to that in a little bit. So let's create a single view application and I'm going to call this the soundboard demo. And make sure that the language is Swift, that's the most important thing. Uh, device is iPhone for me and these options are all unchecked. I'm also not creating a Git repository. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is visit that link that I specified in the last lesson. And I'll link to it in the description below as well. But it brings you to this page and you're going to want to download a bunch of sounds. Now uh, whether it's MB3 or Wave, I think both are fine with the AV audio player. But with the implementation that we're going to do, you're going to want to stay consistent. So what I mean is if you're going to download Waves, then download all of them as Waves. If you're going to do MB3s, then do all of them as MB3s. So I chose four sounds right here as you can see on my desktop. And that's the lightsaber, the blaster firing. Chewbacca Roar and Darth Vader Breathing and they're all wave files okay so make sure that if you're downloading the sounds just make sure they're all mp3s or they're all wave files and that's simply due to how we're going to implement it it's not a technical limitation now I'll point out why we have to download all of one kind um, as we're writing the code okay so make sure you have all of your sounds downloaded and now we're going to import it into our project what I'm going to do here is right click or hold down control and left click if you have a one button mouse. I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call this sounds. Now a group isn't an actual folder in your project directory. So if I go to my project directory now, uh, desktop soundboard demo, you're going to see that there's no actual sound folder created. It's just a, a logical group. It's the organized the files in your Xcode project and it doesn't translate to how it actually looks in here. If you do want it to translate to an actual folder here, what you can do is you can create the actual folder in the soundboard demo and then you can drag the folder into the Xcode project. So let me show you. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to put these four sound files into this new sound folder which I created inside my project and then I would physically drag this folder into the Xcode project and then here it would create folder references okay like that and it's gonna be a blue folder so I accidentally put it into this group but you kinda get the idea so this blue folder means that it directly correlates to a folder in your project while these yellow folders are just groups so I'm actually gonna delete this uh, I'm just going to remove the reference. I don't want to remove all the sounds. So what I usually do, because I like keeping them as groups, uh, I would create the folder in my project folder and add the sounds here. But then I wouldn't drag the sounds folder into the project. I would simply drag the files. Okay, so I would create a new group called sounds. Then I would create the folder in my project directory. I would add the sounds to that but then I would actually just drag these files into this group right here. And I'm gonna choose create groups. Uh, that's fine, I don't need to copy the items into my project because they're already in my project. And I'm just gonna create groups like that. And I click finish. And then I have all these files underneath the sound folder. And then finally, let me show you another way of doing it. So let me just move these files back to the desktop. Let me delete this sound folder, which I created. Let me delete this. Okay, so we're kind of starting back at the state we were back in. So this is the easiest way to do it. Just create a new group called sounds and then drag these WAV files or MP3 files straight from the desktop or wherever you save them and drag them into your new group. And then down here, uh, make sure it says create groups and check this copy items if needed because it's going to copy the wave files from the, your desktop or wherever you saved it into your project folder because you want to keep everything together so check this off uh, make sure this is checked you want to make sure that the sounds will be added to your target and click finish and then now you have these sounds and what it did is it just made a copy of those wave files in your root project directory 
uh, and these files right here in your Xcode project are referencing these guys. So you can feel safe to delete them off your desktop or wherever you save them. So now, okay, that's probably the easiest way to do it. But if you're going to have a ton of files, you're going to have like images, sounds and all that, then I would recommend you creating some sort of organization within your project folder. Uh, okay, but otherwise, both ways work fine. So now we have the sounds in our Xcode project. We're just going to really quickly set up um, our storyboard here. So as you saw in the previous video, they were all just kind of a bunch of buttons. So I'm just going to drag four buttons here like that. It doesn't matter where you put them. I'm just kind of aligning them because what we're going to do is we're going to hold down command and click all of them. So you make sure they're all highlighted and then you're going to click this one called put in a stack view or just stack. It's going to put them all into a stack view element. Uh, and then let's open up the document outline by clicking this little icon down here. Click your stack view and then go down here. Let's add some constraints and I'm simply going to horizontally and vertically center it. Add these two constraints. We're going to update the frames. Furthermore, uh, click the stack view and then on the right hand side in the property inspector for the spacing, I'm going to put 50. And that's just going to space them out a little bit like that. And then I'm going to vertically update all the frames again like that. So it places it there. And then now I'm going to change the button text. So this one was uh, lightsaber blaster firing chewy roar. and Darth Vader. Okay, and now I'm just going to update all the frames again. And then now let's give it a run. All right, so now we have all of our buttons. They don't do anything right now, but I just wanted to verify that they were positioned correctly. So your demo right now should look kind of like this as well. So that was quick and easy, right? And you know what the cool thing is? We're actually halfway there. <laughs> in the next video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to play a sound in your project using AV Audio Player. Uh, and we're also going to hook up these buttons to play those sounds. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this with your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.